Hello Ableton lovers, this is Freddy Frogs, certified Ableton trainer. In this series of tutorials I'm going to try and demystify the concept of dummy clips. This unique concept to Ableton Live enables us to create actions or series of actions in clips that do not generate sound and instead are merely used as a support to write or program the actions. So these dummy clips will be used both on stage or in the studio but the first scenario that springs to mind is when you want to create a series of follow actions in the session view to create an automatic structure. For example, if you're playing as a band on stage, you will most probably want the structure of the song to be quite rigid so that the band can latch onto it and play alongside Ableton Live. So to generate automatic triggering of clips in the session view, you're going to need a function called follow actions. You'll find this function down in the launch box here on the left hand side of your clip view. For example, I can tell to this clip you're going to play for four bars and then you're going to play the next clip in this group of clips. A group of clips is successive clips. As soon as there's an empty slot between them, they're not part of the same group. So let's bring that back here. So I can now trigger this clip and you see it flashes about and after four bars, it moves on and triggers automatically the next clip down below it, like so. So that's pretty easy to implement. However, when you do not have any clip on a slot, how can you program this follow actions? Well, then you need a dummy clip. Let's just copy this clip over here and let's lower its volume right down so it doesn't generate any sound. I can now write the follow action in there. For convenience, I'm going to rename the clip dummy. I'm going to change its color right there. And when I trigger the clip, it flashes about, doesn't generate any sound, and instead triggers the next clip, like so. Great, I can now copy this clip over to all these empty slots. I can also program the same follow action in this clip here, all right there, next, here we go. So when I trigger the scene, all the clips flash, and after four bars, they automatically move on to the next set of clips. How convenient is that? I can now, for example, create another dummy clip here. Let's program it for eight bars. Like so, just change the follow action. Maybe change its color so you know which one is the eight bar and which one is the four bars. And I can now program the follow action on all the other clips, like so. Next, eight bars. Eight bars. Next, here we go and the last one here, eight bars, and next. So when I trigger the first scene, it flashes about for four bars. Everybody's ready to play on the next clip here. And now, so you see all the clips flashing, ready to move to the next ones. So this could not possibly be achieved without dummy clips. So let's move on to another creative technique. 